Welcome back to our presentation, greetings, where we just simply want to give you a tour of the app that we have created to show you uh, the basics of uh, Oracle Apex. So in the last video, we created a few courses, lecturers, admin and students, and uh, we could see the list of courses uh, what we did not do was to be able to edit a course. So let's show how we can edit a course. When we are here, suppose I want to edit this course uh, of uh, basics of philosophy, philosophy basics. I can then just click on edit and go to the course and then basics instead of uh, basics I can say introduction to philosophy if I want to edit it to philosophy and I can save notice that here I cannot add a row and uh, also if I come here and I can select I can unselect but if I come here I can do which action I can delete a row if I want to do so. Very, very good. So I can just save and go back to the menu. After the courses, we I think we have done all of them. Yeah, I can do a list of the courses. And you see that is now introduction to philosophy. Then we go to the lecturer. Yes, I may be able to assign a course to a lecturer. Let us do so. I'm going to click on assign. We have uh, two lecturers. Let's start with lecturer number 81. So I'm just keeping in my mind, I want lecturer number 81. Next, to which course? Oh, let me see. I want to assign lecturer 81 to the course 101. One lecturer 81 course 101. So now I can just say LID is lecturer 81 and the course is 101. And which year is the assignment taking place? 2022. And the assignment is finished. There were two lecturers. Let me assign another lecturer. I can go to assign courses, choose the lecturer. Now I'm going to choose lecturer number 22. Go to next. Once I'm in next, I want to now say I want to assign it to 81. So lecturer 81, course 82. So I'm going to say lecturer 82, course 81. And then two twenty twenty two thousand and twenty two twenty two. Very, very good. Has been successfully assigned. From there, the admin, what can he do? I think we have already input the admin. We can check who has the details of the admin that was done. For the student, we can also enroll a student to certain courses. So let me click on enroll. I'm going to have two students. Let me start with student 21 and enroll it to which course? To course 81. Let me go back. We were saying student 21. Student 21 should be assigned to course 81 21 81 21 81 student 21 we are saying course 81 and then we are signing in 2022 21 81 okay then we can go back and if I want to assign any other course, I can enroll the student. The course now is 20, 22. 22, we will assign it to course 
2101 22 101 22 101 22 and we are signing to 101 in the year 2022 then it is finished so i think we did all the assignment we are now going to log out and the first thing that we'll do is now to sign in as a lecturer so let's start with prof sd is one lecturer Give his password. From there, sign in. The professor has signed in, and you can see the lecturer. Now, if you want to see his courses, you go to display. Doesn't show all the courses, but only his own course. Then, if you want to edit his details, we can go to edit and you can see it is only his details and here he cannot add a new row when i go there he cannot delete he can only edit for example he might want to change his office i have to go to edit maybe the office was a mistake he might then say my office is d and save the changes the lecturer what can he also let's just remove the uh, log out from this lecture and go into another lecturer let us try now the lecturer with uh, student student lecturer but i am suspicious it's better for put to put uh, Capital, the transport capital, the lecturer, uh, is a doctor, rather. And then from here, let us log in with the password. You'll see that this time, if we go to lecturer and we want to see the courses, it's going to display the courses of this lecturer is no more the other one we this is the one who is doing philosophy and the edition is a doctor as a lecturer i want to edit my details and he say no i'm no more a miss let me edit you see it's not a professor it's this one see i want to show you that i'm a doctor so the edition has taken place I think that's how it is. We can also go to students if we want and log in as a student. This time I log in as Zukisa. And you'll see that uh, if we go to Zukisa, uh, the password of Zukisa, let us be careful. This is the password of Sukisa. Now that Sukisa has logged in as a student, Sukisa may want to know his or her courses, and we can output the courses of Sukisa. Even though there are two courses, Sukisa is only enrolled for basics of programming in 2022. Now. There are a few things that I can do here. For example, if I want to know certain courses, certain, I can select the year and just ask, I want the course by for this year or for the other year. This is can, for example, do it if I want to view all the lecturers. Let's do it here. There are two lecturers. I'm in I'm interested in the male one. So I can go to load and say gender and just type I want the mail and then search for it and I'll only be given the mail one. Like if I, I'm tired of that, I can close here and go back to the initial setup. This 
is the overview of what you can do in the app. It shows most of the features that we have learned in App OPEX. Thank you.